evening a very good evening i hope and i believe all of you are doing well uh, a quick nod whether the audio visual is all good uh just give me a minute Yes uh, am i audible and visible everyone waiting for that quick confirmation so that we can start with the discussion okay that's great thank you so much so <laughs> here we in the session we are uh, going to discuss uh, how the fmg exam was and what are the lessons learned uh, particularly for the students who are going to appear for the upcoming neat pg exam what you should be focusing on and uh, uh, you know what what is in the mind of the examiners uh, that is what uh, we would be discussing in this session uh, before that let me tell you the expressions uh, i'm sure that after the exam the fmg students are in a state where mai ro ya hasu karu mai kya karu samajh mein nahi aaye because uh, fmg the part 1 paper that is the pre clinical and the para clinical uh, subjects the part a was uh, very good and so uh, frequently asked questions topics that are asked that were asked right basically jo padke gaye wo aaya so everybody was happy but after the part 2 uh it was like uh, a lot of uh, weird questions or uh, uh, is basically what the students are saying but uh, when i look back uh, i see that the topics are still the same right it's not that key cancer staging is not important like cancer staging and treatment ruled the today's uh, fmg exam and this is something that we should be reading for the exam aisa nahi hai ki aap you can go to the examination hall without reading this topics right so uh, <coughs> exam hone ke baad basically yahi hota hai ki hasu the exam is over and now i am free whether i should be happy or i should cry upon you know the exam did not well the way it should have been so all the students here who have given the fmg exam let me tell you that however the exam was uh, it is done and dusted no matter how much you think over it how many recall sessions you see uh your answers are not going to change and your and your uh, you know the scores are not going to change so whatever is done just leave it in the past watch the recall sessions to learn out of it not to see that mera kitna right aaya aur aur kisi ka kitna right aaya okay so uh before i we start with the actual discussion i also want to give an update on what are the next plus classes that we have for this month Uh, so tomorrow 7:30 a.m. we have radiology IBQs part three. Uh, this is for the plus, and then January 22nd we have the test and discussion course ka uh, last session in radiology. <coughs> okay, and the NEET PG students also please do not forget to enroll for the upcoming All India Mock Test, which is on 22nd January. So like I suggest, you should be giving the mock test, the grant test, uh, basically from multiple platforms. because you get to see multiple types of questions one platform might be more inclined towards one liners another platform might be more towards clinical ones right so notes ek rehne chahiye but mcqs and the test you should be giving from multiple platforms so this is a free test and you can get a 100% scholarship plus the free notes as well also the new batch that we are starting on the platform it's the last leap marathon that we are starting and it's actually starting on february 22nd where you have 100 hours of dedicated rapid revision by all the educators all 19 subjects rapid revision would be done 
in the live interactive classes. Plus, the subscription would also give you access to the ongoing TND, IBQs, and the PYQ batches. So, you can get the two month subscription at approximately 7K now. <coughs> Plus, we also have the Rankers Batch, where the five educators are covering all 19 subjects with uh, the tricks to help you remember those 19 subjects. Okay. And we also have Neat PG Vitals, that is the recorded classes that we have, uh, that have been recorded. Along with that, the live classes will go on on the platform. But you also have the recorded classes also available. And we have a special launch prize, which is available. Majority of the subjects are already recorded and available. Few subjects would be there in the next one to two months. So if you take the Neat PG combo subscription, that is live plus recorded both, uh, you get the free notes with that. And while subscribing, you can use the code Dr. Nikita for additional discount. Now talking about radiology, uh, that is my subject. Uh, yes, Rajiv, please tell me. <coughs> <coughs> yes, uh, Dharam, tell me how was your exam? I, I remember, I um, hope you are the same Dharam that we had in the short shot 150 class as well. Please also let us know that how much did the short shot 150 also helped. So, this is a previously asked image as well. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is the previous year question, right? So, in the today's exam also, we learned that the PYQs are the most important things to be done. And uh, it is not just the PYQs, but the related topics. Okay, but the related topics are important. For someone who's starting now for NEET PG, if you are confused, ki bas itna hi hai. All you need to do is start with the previous year questions and just read the related topics. Nothing else uh, needs to be done at this point of time. PYQs are very, very important. For this particular radiograph, this has been asked in the NEET PG also. This has been asked in the FMG also previously. And now it has been asked in the FMG again. Surprisingly, there was no question related to pneumothorax or a pneumoperitoneum. Uh, the radiology image was not there, which is generally there in the exam. One of there is one of that is already there. So if I have to tell you a quick trick to remember this is when you see a circular foreign body in the AP radiograph, remember the circle is the esophagus. Okay, the circle is the esophagus. When it's a slit like coin in the frontal radiograph, remember the slit like is the T. That is the trachea. Okay, that's the easiest way to remember. So, AP mein, jo circle hai, wo hai esophagus, jo slit hai, wo hai trachea ka. Okay, jo slit hai, wo hai trachea ka. Right. Uh, there were a lot of uh, surprising things that happened in the today's exam. Correct. Uh, there was no ECG based question. There was no acid based disorder. Uh, the GCS was not there. The biomedical waste was not there. Uh, then uh, electrolytes was not there. In PSM, no vaccines, no biomedical waste, right? Uh, health programs were not there. So, in that way, the exam was a bit eccentric. But I believe that the examiners also faced this difficulty that 19 subjects are there. So, many important topics are And every time, you can't topics ko, you know, chance nahi de sakte. So, some topics will appear in one year. The next uh, will appear in the other years. What we have to do for our exam is we have to do the complete list of topics. And usme se fir kuch bhi hai, we should be able to answer those questions. Okay. So, uh, right. And as I said, cancer stagings and cancer treatment. There were many questions on that. So, the NEET PG students, please make sure that for your upcoming NEET PG exam, you do the cancer stagings very well. It's not that if FMG comes, it will come to NEET, but chances are more. So, that's why cancer stagings, if someone had kept it or ignored it uh, aside. So, please uh, make sure that... Uh, you do the cancer staging and treatment. Now, even in cancer treatments, like there was a question on anal carcinoma ka treatment. Kya, uh, kya hoga? This is a question that has been asked many times previously. And the chemo radiation, hota hai, negros regimen, wo sab bahut bar pucha jata hai. CA breast mein, PUD or ka question tha. It's a commonly asked question. Hai na? 
So whatever are the important ones uh, that are asked, we need to know basically, you know, the examiner's mindset. And how will you get to know the examiner's mindset is by looking at the previous year questions. In my suggestion, the NEET PG students, please don't do only the three years NEET PG papers. If possible, try to do the 10 years ka papers. Because why do I suggest that is, first, you are doing all the previous year questions. Uh, you know, the examiners generally take up the question papers of the past from here and there to see ki kaise questions jal sakte hai. Hai na? So, MCQs, jab aap solve karoge, it helps in the active recall. It helps in the active recall and it helps you remember the stuff better. Rather than reading the notes uh, passively and just missing on a particular point that has been asked in the previous exam, when you look at a topic in the form of MCQ with the options, you make a mistake in that and you remember it better. Okay, and you remember it better. So, uh, if possible, uh, please uh, try to do as many questions from the past as possible. If you are done with the last three years, four years, uske pehle wale papers pe jao. Theek hai? Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> ortho mein koi explained ka question bhi nahi tha. Aise bahut saale topics hai jo nahi hai. Like I said, the examiners are also confused ki ab kaun sa topic daale, kaun sa nahi daale. Again, another repeat question in radiology. The horse shook kidney that has been asked previously as well. Okay. So, horse shook kidney has been asked in the FMG exam previously as well. And that was asked in this exam as well. Previous year questions, please write it down and note it down, underline it down. They are very, very important. You cannot afford to make a mistake in the previous year questions and the related topics. Uh, Pickle, pre uh, short shot 150 may say, uh, kuch nahi aaya, baat kuch aaya. So basically the paper one, uh, majority of the topics we had covered in a short shot 150. Right, uh, kafi sare topics short shot 150 say say. Recent amne discuss kiya tha renal deposits. There was a question on good pasture syndrome. Anti-GBM antibodies are seen in good pasture syndrome. Right. Uh, then uh, there was a question on uh, diaphragmatic opening. You know? Then there was a question on diaphragmatic opening that we had discussed. There was a question of uh, angiotensin on GFR that also we had discussed. Uh, there are multiple ones. Surgery may say like the scores, uh, child CTP score was asked. What are the components of CTP score? Anyone, what are the components of CTP score? Treatment for esophageal coin is esophagoscopy. Endoscopy and removal. CTP. Child, remember every child has a BAP. So the mnemonic for child score is a BAP. Encephalopathy. Then we have uh, then we have bilirubin levels. A and A. One A stands for albumin. Another A stands for ascites. Okay, and we have PTINR. So remember that ascites and albumin are included. AST, ALT are not included. Again, there was a question on the QSOFA score also that we had discussed in uh, short shot 150. QSOFA is similar to uh, QSOFA is similar to revised trauma score. And what are the components of revised trauma score? RTS. RTS is Respiratory rate, trauma mein jo hum score karte hain, that is GCS and we have the systolic blood pressure. Okay, that is systolic blood pressure. Uh, Vorashre, I believe the June FMG exam should be there. After that, December wala, we don't know. At least at June to rahega. <coughs> okay, so uh, this was us. So there are multiple topics. We had discussed the mycology part where we had discussed in short shot 150. Copper, penny bodies, chromoblastomycosis, CO, CO, chromoblastomycosis, sporothrix. Also, we had uh, discussed, you know, so um, multiple topics we had discussed. Now, whether the paper was easy or the paper was tough, shellish, it's a very subjective thing, I would say. Agar usme se aya paper jo humne padha hai, to paper easy lagta hai. Woi agar koi aur hai, jisne wo topics nahi padhe, usko wo paper difficult lagega. And the easy and difficult, I believe, is a very subjective term. If we are lucky enough to get the questions from what we have read, 
then we definitely score better. McNaughton's rule was also there. Correct. Gynecoid pelvis. Right. Pelvis wale, the 50 days challenge that I have launched on Instagram. Usme humne day 1 pe kiya tha types of maternal pelvis. Gynecoid pelvis. Remember gynecoid G for G. It is gold gold pelvis. Hai na? Gold gold matlab circular. Yani uska transverse diameter, AP diameter is equal. Hai na? That is gold gold. What is android pelvis? Android is like do do dil mil rahe hai. It's a dil shape that is heart shape. Okay, that is heart shape. Then we have anthropoid pelvis. Anthropoid A and P. It is AP diameter which is more than the transverse diameter like this. And then we have platypeloid. Platypeloid pelvis. Platy is T. That is transverse diameter more than the AP. That is, this is how we have in the platypeloid pelvis. <coughs> okay. So, I, I don't know what the image was. But at least you should know the tricks to remember the types of maternal pelvis. Okay. At least you should know the tricks to remember the types of maternal pelvis. Right. Agar aap dekho ge kuch questions. Just a visual, uh, visual field defects. Do questions se shad uspe. Hai na? To ek tha bitemporal hemi anopia wala. This is bitemporal hemi anopia optic chiasma lesion. And it is the central chiasma which is compressed. Another question, homonymous hemi anopia. When both the eyes, the same side is affected, it is homonymous hemi anopia. We had discussed this topic, uncompetitive enzyme inhibitor. How do you identify the graph of uncompetitive enzyme inhibitor? Normal graph. Uncompetitive is not in the competition. That means it goes down. The competition mein hai, wo niche ke level pe hai. So that means it goes down. That is uncompetitive inhibitor. EDH, biconvex shape. Right? Potency efficacy curves. Potency efficacy curves. What is the mnemonic to remember that? This also we have discussed in the short shot 150. That is help. What is the mnemonic? It's help. Height indicates efficacy. The left wala is more potent. So if this is what you have the graph as, this, the left is going to be more potent. The one which has more height, that is be, that will be more efficacious. Okay, that would be more efficacious. Uh, Param, the short shot course videos, I believe it has been resolved. Uh, that is what I got to know from the team. If still there is any issue, please do let me know. I'll convey it to the team again. <coughs> okay and the types of pelvis was asked so uh, basically uh, what we have learned out of this session out of this exam is first of all fmg wale bachche jinhone exam diya hai aapke 300 questions mein se 150 bhi right hai so you are clearing the exam so you have the room to make so many mistakes 150 mistakes is what you can make so don't worry agar aapko yaad aa rahe ki mere 10 questions 20 questions wrong ho gaye it's absolutely fine you are still going to clear the exam right same is true for the neat pg exam students uh aisa nahi hai ki, you know out of the 200 questions you need to get all 200 correct if you get even one question in the exam um, which is you're not able to answer that does not mean that you should panic and you have lost the game there's a lot of room to make mistakes but definitely not in the previously asked topics that has to be underlined okay that has to be underlined so previous year questions previous year topics please master all of them also include the fmg papers the neat pg students also include the fmg papers uh, in your uh, revision, the last two years papers at least you should include in your uh, revisions. Right. Now, like many questions say Hodgkin's lymphoma, Reed Sternberg cell diya tha, virus pucha tha. Ye bhi humne discuss kiya hai. Epstein-Barr virus hota hai. Zank smear humne discuss kiya hai. Zank smear herpes virus. Right. The giant cell jaisa appearance dikhega. Thik hai. So, there are uh, multiple topics that you would see are the ones which are asked from the favorite topics. And trust me that even for NEET PG exam, you don't need to do everything from all the subjects. Start pruning down the material that you are reading and uh, start making the notes, one place notes, so that in the end, you have that one resource, that one place that you can use 
basically to uh, you know revise the things in the last 10 days and last 7 days so lessons learned are PYQs are very very important and the related topics are very very important then uh, lesson the uh, second lesson you need to master the MCQs not just the notes in these last days MCQs are very very important FMG exam had a lot of questions on cancer staging and treatment so make sure you do them well for your NEET PG exam as well okay uh, very very important and uh, it is uh, something of everything that is something of all subjects it is always better than doing everything of some subjects okay and focus on the important important stuff start making notes have one place notes for final revision in the last 10 days okay for final revision in the last 10 days so all the students who gave the fmg exam today i do wish hope and pray that you sail through this very well and you are on the other side of the table <coughs> right and uh, which cancer stagings are important aditya uh just for just question that is larynx pe question aya tha uh breast cancer pe <coughs> question aya tha uh, anal cancer pe aya tha larynx breast anal cancer this is important uh read thyroid right uh all these these are some of the important cancers that i can remember which are important all the gynecological cancers are important cervix endometrium ovary cancer all of them are important one-liner questions in the fmg exam today there were a lot of one-liner questions clinical questions predominant one-liner questions important the uh, and uh, if you ask me which subjects are more important the pre and para clinical subjects master them very well because these are the subjects that have all or none phenomenon answer aata hai to aata hai usme koi guess nahi hota hai aur koi controversy bhi nahi hoti hai rather the clinical subjects are the ones which are very confusing and uh, have controversial ambiguous answers as well ki next best step kya hoga mere hisab se a hai kisi aur ke hisab se b hai hai na so the pre and para clinical subjects master them very well uh, anat physio biochemistry uh, then you have your pathopharmac micro jo bhi ye hai pre para clinical subjects then comes the short subjects they are actually scoring and then comes actually your bada bada subjects the clinical subjects okay uh yes uh, <coughs> so that was uh, all that i wanted to discuss not really the questions questions that appeared in the exam but to give you some insights into what lessons you can learn for the upcoming neat pg exam out of the exam which is uh, conducted today the fmg jan 2023 and pyqs 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 and the related topics just focus on these if you are done with those go to the pyqs of the previous years uh, like you know 14 15 16 wo sab bhi karo fmg ke bhi previous year papers karo there's a lot of overlap in the topics uh, 150 plus pyqs should be a good strategy uh, basically to score good in the exam okay any other queries guys any other queries you have related to your preparation Thank you so much Dharam for that and I am uh, humbled to know that whatever we discussed helped in the exam. Ha Gauri, absolutely. FMG ka repeat ho sakta hai in NEET PG mein. Which subject to start for preparation? I've given you a 30 days timetable. If you don't have your own timetable, you can follow that. Every day we give the test also in the morning and the evening to assess your preparation. You can check on the YouTube channel, the 30 days timetable. How often to give the grand test at this point of time? If you are very good with time management, <coughs> you have given enough grand test in the past, uh, then you can give it one in 15 days. If not, if you are struggling with time management, you have never given grand test, then give it once a week. 
try to give the various grant tests, the CBTs, the mock tests, any everything which is conducted on various platforms. Try to give them all of them. Difficulty level will be same. See, it's or it's it's always the you know the middle range is where the exam is generally conducted. ऐसा नहीं होता कि exam बहुत easy है या exam बहुत ज़्यादा difficult है. Mock tests are a must. You have the an academy call in your mock test coming up this Sunday, so maybe you can start with that. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. Please remember these insights for your upcoming NEET PG preparation. And yes, together we would ace the exams and we would crack the NEET PG exam as well. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care and keep studying, keep revising, and keep winning. Thank you.